what's happening everybody? Paul Ingram here with Collie Center. Today, we're gonna need a single stick for our Collie training. We're gonna be taking a look at the abanicos, or the fanning motions that we can do with the stick. It can also be done with a bolo as well, so if you have a training bolo, feel free to practice with your training bolo. Before we get to the lessons, please do me a quick favor. Number one, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button. And number two, make me a little promise that after the video, or sometime during the video, head over to ColliApex.com. I got the link in the description below. Go check out my online school where you can train with me more in depth in Filipino martial arts. You get access to my entire online school at just half price. It's a limited time offer, so make sure to take advantage of it while you can. ColliApex.com, link is right down in the description below. Let's grab our Collie stick, let's get to these abanicos, let's get to the training. Let's define the abanico. Some styles will call this a watik. Watik means to flick. Abanico means fan, kind of basically the same thing. Different schools will have different terminologies. This is either the fanning motion of the weapon, the stick or the bolo, which is also like the flicks or the flicking motions just like this. So let's go over the basic Abanico or Watik techniques. All of the angles of striking in Kali, they're all based off of the three different angles that we can strike on. We can strike on diagonals, we can strike on horizontals, and we can strike on verticals. Now the Watiks follow the exact same process. We can strike here on the horizontals. This could be the high line horizontals or it could be the low line horizontals. Okay, the wrist is moving on a horizontal fashion. We also have vertical Watiks, just like this, okay, which are on the vertical plane. And then we also have other horizontal Watiks, which is like the flicking right here off of the backhand side. This can go up high, this can go to the middle, this can also go low. Now we can also work diagonals, meaning we can strike high to low, just like this, or we can strike low to high, just like this on the forehand side and the backhand side. Forehand side on the backhand side. So we can cover all three dimensions of horizontal, vertical, and diagonal using our abanico techniques. So I wanna give you a little drill that you can work here to work in all of these different methods here. Go into our Watik number one, or abanico number one. We call this the number one abanico. Number two abanico. Number three. Number four. Then we go into number five, which is the diagonal, and then number six, which is the diagonal here. And then you can also drop it down on the lows, which is seven and eight. Let me go through that again for you. That way you can practice this drill so you're working all your different abanico movements that we teach here at Collie Center. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, just like that, okay? Let me go ahead and show you this one from a few different angles. What kind of targeting can we use these abanico techniques on, these boutique techniques on? So all of these strikes can go to the hand. We have Largo tactics that we can apply these to. All of them can go to the hand. There's specific times that you would use them to the hand, but a lot of times it's used when we are at closer range. We're at this close or close quarter range right here. So obviously we can go right into the head, right to the temple, eyes, ear, that band that goes right around the head. Now if you miss that and you end up hitting them in the jaw, it's still gonna be very effective. So you can still work that. So you have the head that you can hit right here. You can hit on the vertical. You can smash them vertically into the face. And then you also have that whip. So you can work your one, your two, your three, and your four abanico right there, your basic techniques. The first four are the basic techniques. All of the other ones are just working off of a little bit of a variation out of those first four abanico techniques. So once again, we can uh, use all these techniques, one, two, three, four, right up to the head, right to the face. They're very highly effective strikes. Once you start really learning how to apply your mechanics right into them, right? It's all coming out of the hips and the rotation of the shoulder. And 
because it's a lot of snap in the wrist, it's a small circle, it generates, it accelerates a lot of speed very, very quickly, which gives a lot of momentum on the abanico. Right there, right there, and right there. Again, snapping the hips, right there, boom, snapping the hips, boom, pop, bam, to generate even more torque, more power transfer into the target. We can also take a look at these uh, in the close quarter range. They can start going to the collarbones or the shoulders. We can bring these down even into the hip or into the midsection here. If you want to you know, be a little more humane, maybe you don't want to smash them right in the face, right? You can start you know, applying different uh, areas of pain, right? Maybe down to the thigh or to the knee or something like that. The abanico is a very fast, sneaky kind of shot. So someone might be expecting that slash to come out and then boom, it goes around that strike, around what they're expecting and it whips around, flicks around or it fans around and strikes them in a more unpredictable place. I can come over here like I'm gonna strike this one and then flip it right away to that abanico right there. They might be thinking I'm coming out with this backhand slash right here and then all of a sudden, boom, I drop it down on that vertical abanico and uh, this causes a lot of damage. Sometimes it doesn't look like it's much, but you'd be very, very surprised that even with a piece of rattan, you know, you're hitting them with this last couple inches or with the corner right there, that you know, when you're starting to hit them in the face, you know, even in the hand, this can start splitting the skin and it can actually cause a lot of damage. You know, you hit someone in the face, it could definitely take an eye out, it could break their nose, it can even knock out some teeth. And uh, these strikes right here, can be very, very deceiving to the untrained eye thinking that there's no power behind these strikes. Now you can also use these strikes even if you had a bolo. You could be using the back edge. If your bolo has a back edge, you could be using the corner where the edges meet the tip. And I get a lot of people asking questions about, you know, well, if you hit somebody with the flat of the blade, is it gonna do any damage? Uh, yes, okay, you can take the flat corner of any blade and go flick a cardboard box that's, you know, cardboard has more density than the uh, elasticity of our skin. And you'll see the amount of damage that it does. Or go get some fruit, go get a watermelon or something like that that's more dense than our skin and go flick that thing with, uh, you know, with your bolo or what. And you'll be surprised at the amount of damage that it can cause. Maybe I'll go ahead and do a video like that. If you guys wanna see some fruit ninja action uh, here on the channel, maybe I'll go ahead and do a video just like that for you guys so you can kind of see, get a better idea what these techniques can actually do. We'll do a couple with the impact weapon and we'll do a couple with the, uh, with the bolos as well. Both a live bolo, and a trainer bolo so you can see how much damage even a blunt piece of metal can do. So if you wanna see a little fruit ninja action here on the channel, make sure to leave me that comment down below. If we get enough comments and we get enough likes on the video, maybe enough shares, I'll go ahead and make that fruit ninja video for you guys. So just think, you know, you can be very uh, creative with the abanicos, they're very versatile. They can be used at long range to the hand. They can be used at corto range at all these different various targets. And this is why we have so many different, you know, types of abanicos here because now we can strike rapidly, fast, and these techniques go around our opponent's ability to counter, right? Their deflections and their uh, roof blocks and their wings and their umbrellas. Abanicos do a good job at going around those different types of uh, basic counter offenses. I would classify the Abanico or the Watique to be more of an advanced type of man, uh, manipulation or a technique, tactic to apply in Kali because it does take a little bit better awareness and control of range and timing and understanding certain angulations so that way you could increase your uh, level so that way you can increase your rate of success with them. I wouldn't say that these are necessarily beginner movements, but I always like to at least have these starting to be trained, get familiar with the movement, start building the coordination, and then when you come and train with us, whether it is through our online school or coming out to our ITC training camp that we hold every summer, or 
if you're coming into our Patreon and getting our coaching, our direct coaching, I always like to make sure that you're starting off getting familiar with these different Kali techniques. So when we get to the lessons, the coordination is there and then we can start teaching the navigation and then the application, how to tactically apply them. Let me know if you've ever used an abanico in your sparring, if you've ever used this technique before, how effective was it for you? What did you find? Was, was it worth it? Was it effective? Was it not effective? Did it not give you the result that you were looking for? Maybe we can go ahead and dissect on why that was. And if you want, and if you have any questions about how to apply this tactic, if you want special attention on how this is used, how the abanicos, how the wateeks are structurally used strategically and tactically in the flow of Kali, jump into our Patreon program so that way you can get that direct one-on-one -on -one private coaching and we can work with you specifically on whatever your Kali needs are, just like you know how to apply these abanicos. I got the link to our Patreon down in the description below. Check it out try it out for a month get a coaching call session in and then uh, you know if it works great for you let's keep training together if it doesn't no hard feelings if you want to dive deeper into the art of Kali with me here at Kali Center make sure to also click the link down below KaliApex.com and go get access to my entire online school all my programs all my courses for half price. Again, this is a limited time offer. I will be uh, taking that offer off the table at some point, so make sure you do not miss it. Now get on out there, go grab your stick or your training bolo and start working today some of those abanicos, start working those motions, and then I'll catch you back here in the next video. And make sure to share this one with your friends. Let's get those comments down below so that way we can get to some fruit ninja action and have some fun with these techniques and some other techniques. And then let me know what other techniques you want me to work in our fruit ninja segment if, if, if you want me to do that segment. All right, thanks so much. Get outside, go make nature your Kali Dojo, and I'll see you next time.